When you have no money, do this. Guys, in this video, I want to go over what you can do if you just don't have any money coming in or you're struggling financially or you're just you're wondering how can I start bringing more abundance, more wealth into my life? Well, I'm going to give you the ideas um, that are going to help you do this and the thinking behind them that's coming up next. Hi there, my name is Dave and this is Heart Space where we are releasing videos almost every single day to help you live life more in your way and to me that is being able to live in a financially free way, financially abundant way, which is actually available to everyone if you have the right tools, the right mentalities, the right mindsets. And so if you want more videos that are going to help you do stuff like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any of the content that we release. Now again guys, we're going to be talking about money mindset um, in this video. I'm going to be going over why it is so many people seem to struggle with money, the reason for that and how you can do something that works every single time for every single person. There is no exception to, um, that I can think of to this rule. And if you follow along with what I go over in this video and you do it consistently and you make it the thing you're doing more often than not, um, you will start to experience more money coming into your physical reality. So let's get into it. So why is it that some people seem to be incredibly abundant, loving their lives, um, living in a fulfilled way? And it's a very small percentage of people, by the way, you know, the majority of people do not, um, aren't living lives like that. Um, and then why is it why the, the vast majority are living lives where they just, they seem to be always uh, scrounging for, or, or just barely being able to make ends meet or just barely being able to pay their bills or they're in debt or whatever else it is. Um, and it really, really is actually very simple at the end of the day. And again, you can, you can see this example for every single person and it works every single time for every single person. And it's the idea that the inner world leads to the outer. And that's not something a lot of people like to hear because they, they are so many people are dead set on the idea that there's some external thing they have to do. There's something outside of themselves that they have to do in order to bring more money into their lives or really anything into their lives. But it just isn't the case. You can look at any single person who is struggling financially or struggling in any area of their life. And I guarantee you, I promise you, um, you know, I'd be willing to bet pretty much any amount of money. You know, there we go. Since we're talking about money that if we were to look at their inner belief systems, they would absolutely match their physical um, external circumstances for whatever the thing is. And so if I saw someone who's always struggling with their bills, I guarantee I can look within their belief systems and find ones that are, I'm always struggling, I'm always going to be struggling, money doesn't grow on trees or belief systems like that. And I guarantee you, I can look at someone who is wealthy, has accumulated wealth, has maybe even come from a situation of being um, pretty poor or you know uh, not having the best circumstances in most people's eyes to one where they have circumstances that many people would want. And I bet I can look at that person, look within their inner world, their inner belief systems and I would find beliefs such as I am abundant money comes to me easily there are so many opportunities out there for me to earn money in ethical ways or whatever it is I guarantee that and I guarantee for every example of someone who has earned a lot of money and living in a way they 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 love financially um, I guarantee I could find similar beliefs and I guarantee for anyone who is struggling for the most part um, or you know has uh, isn't doing so well with money or not as well as they want to do uh, want to be I guarantee I could look within their inner world um, I could look within their belief systems and I would find um, the same kind of belief systems between all those kind of people which would say you know money doesn't grow on trees again maybe not exactly that but something along those lines or something like you know I can only earn so much you know money isn't abundant you know only a few people have it and I'm not one of those people, whatever it is, I guarantee it. And that is because with everything you have in physical reality, it all starts inwardly. It all starts with your belief systems. It starts with your thoughts. It starts with the way you move your energy um, physically in the, in the world and how you think about things. So it's always inner to outer. I had a mentor of mine explain it like this. You have your physical bank account, right? And you have your physical bank account. And, and most people, what they try and do is they see their physical bank account. They don't like something. So they try and influence their physical bank account. They go out and they trade their time for money or they do whatever to slowly accumulate money in their physical bank account. But then they have bills and then they're back to square one or whatever else it is. Um, and then you have your emotional bank account. And people think that your physical bank account will lead to your emotional bank account being higher. So the more money I have, um, the more happiness I'll have, right? The more money I have, the more whatever I'll have. But the problem is, and this is what my mentor told me, is we have the formula backwards. It isn't the higher your physical bank account, the higher your emotional one will be. That's why so many people focus on just, you know, money over everything because they think that's what's going to make them happy. But you reverse it because the moment 
you start focusing on your emotional bank account and you go, well, I'm just gonna focus on feeling good, doing the things that feel right to me, being happy, being in love, being joyful, being peaceful, and I'm gonna make it so that I am that most of the time, guess what ends up happening? Your emotional bank account rises and then your physical bank account rises. Now, why is this? It's because when you're in a certain energy, when you're, say, coming from the energy of abundance, so you're like, I want to feel abundant. And then most people are like, well, I need to earn money to do that. So they go and earn money and they stress out and they're in these lower emotions thinking that that's going to get them to the place of abundance. But abundance is available to you right now. You can literally feel abundance. Go and um, for um, like the next 20 minutes, go around. And the only thing I want you to do is think of the things you're grateful for and really think about it, say it out loud and don't entertain any other ideas. You know, even if you think it's silly, 20 minutes, just go crazy on what you're grateful for and tell me you don't feel abundant. That feeling is available to you right now. But most people think they have to do something to feel that. But if you start feeling abundant most of the time, you have to, by law, manifest the equivalent of that eventually in the physical world. There's a delay in the physical world, Newtonian world versus the quantum world. Again, you can feel abundance right now, energetically, emotion, emotionally, which is energy in motion. There will be a delay in manifesting that physically, in gathering enough energy for that to actually come about physically. But it will happen if you stick with it. But what happens with most people is the majority of the time, they are not manifesting, I'm so abundant. They're manifesting like, why do I never have enough? Why is the, why is the world full of you know, suffering? Why is blah, blah, blah? And they're thinking that most of the time. So boom, you know, they have that manifested in physical reality. They're manifesting their reality where they're always struggling or they're always suffering. But if you were to reverse that and you focused on your emotional bank account and you just focused on doing the things that excite you, make you happy, make you joyful, put you, you know, make you feel love, peace, abundance, you will find your physical bank account will raise. Now, before um, all of you get up in arms and go like, well, I'm just supposed to sit there and bliss out and, you know, I'll just be like, oh my God, you blah, blah, blah. That's not what I'm saying. And when anyone brings up that argument, they clearly haven't actually tried this. They haven't experienced this because that's not what happens when you genuinely feel good. What happens when you genuinely feel good, authentically connect with the emotion of abundance or joy or happiness or love, is you don't just sit on the couch and bliss out. It inspires you to take action. But here's the difference. Because you're coming from the foundation of feeling abundant, the action you take from that place is going to be radically different than the action you would take from a place of desperation or a place of lack. You can see how one person, if they feel abundant and then go take action, their action is going to be way different than someone who's like, God damn it, I, I got to pay my bills. You know, I, have, I don't have enough money, all this blah, blah, blah. I need to desperately go do stuff. And they'll end up doing things they would never do, which energetically is, is not a good thing to be resonating um, just to earn, you know, a little bit about a little bit of money. And usually it's a little bit. Or there'll be people who will even break the law to earn bigger amounts of money because they put so much importance on that. And then it comes and bites them in the ass later on. Um, which is not a situation you want to be in, but it's, they're only doing that because they think, again, physical bank account will make my emotional bank account stronger. When again, it's reversed. Emotional bank account, when you raise that, this comes up with it over time. And so, what I want you to take away from this video is to understand, because a lot of people who might, uh, maybe you're watching this and go like, I need money now. You know, I'm desperate for money, but this is how it works. Regardless of whatever the current circumstances are, if you keep doing what you've been doing that led you to the situation you might be in, of course, I don't know who you are personally, um, but whatever situation you're in, you know, you're in that due to your previous actions, to your previous belief systems. And so you can continue using those belief systems, but you're only going to get what you've been getting. But if you switch it and try this out, and try it out with full faith. You can't half-ass this, you know, you can't trick the universe. You can't be like, yeah, I'm abundant, but then not feel abundant and then expect abundance. You will get back what you feel. You'll get back the emotion. You're not gonna get back necessarily, I said this, but it didn't come. You know, that's why people always go like, why aren't my prayers being answered? Because it's not what you're saying, it's the emotion, the energy you're giving off that's going to be um, transmitted from you and then received and given back in some form whether it's more similar thoughts or actions to take, a lot of times the universe will return your energy in the form of opportunities that you then need to take the action to take advantage of. It might open a door for you, like, oh, this perfect person came in my life who wants to offer me help, or this perfect you know, situation, this job opened up for me that I would love, but you, know, you still have to take the action, the, the step, right? And so focus on that emotional bank account and don't take any action until you've filled that emotional bank account. And luckily for you, 
it doesn't take long to fill that emotional bank account. Do you know how long it takes to put yourself in a mood of happiness? Not long at all. Do you know how long it takes to put yourself in an energy of abundance? Not long at all. It takes five minutes, guys, even less. Because here's the trick. You can only focus on one thing at a time. And so you're like, well, how am I, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'll just, I'll be focusing on, I'll be thinking about all the negative things at the same time. No, you won't. If you actually focus on, say, again, the exercise I gave you being grateful and only focusing on that for like 10 minutes, just do it for 10, 20 minutes. And just, I want you to list everything you're grateful for. I, small and big, be like, I'm grateful that I have clean water. I'm grateful that I have a house and a roof over my head. I'm grateful that I have, I have some money. I'm grateful for this person in my life, that person in my life. I'm grateful for this thing that happened to me all these years ago, that realization I had. I'm grateful, you know, that I get to do this, whatever it is. Just start being grateful for it, the smallest to the biggest thing, and you're going to find a change in your energy. And I guarantee, I don't care how negative a person you are, if you actually entertain that practice and you do it full-heartedly to the best of your ability, at least for after that moment, you will feel so much better. And then you take action because ideas are going to start coming to you. Every time I do gratitude practices or I do a meditation or something of that nature, I'm always inspired to go off and do something. Again, I'm not blissing out on the couch doing nothing, not taking action. This is a co-creative experience, not a um, just bliss out and someone else do it for me. It's not how it works. But if you want to access that inspired action that's actually going to bring you, you know, who knows how much money could bring you a lot, could bring you everything that you want. Um, if you want to access that, you have to get into that inspired state, which I'm sorry, it does not exist in fear. It does not exist in desperation. It does not exist in lack. It does not exa exist in anger. Inspiration doesn't exist in those places. They can sometimes be catalysts to get to that place, but you can't stay there and expect that to come in. And so when you have no money, um, Start visualizing the life that you want. Start connecting to the energy you want as if it is right now and then feel it right now. And that really is the trick. If you can feel how it is you keep saying you want to feel in the future, stop delaying it, visualize or do the things that are going to make you feel that now. And if you can stay in that energy and move from that energy and take your actions from that energy and keep thinking while you're in that energy, your thoughts from that energy, and you cut off anything else, you cut off any other thoughts to try and derail you, or every time you get back down into those lower emotions, you just go, oh crap, I'm in these lower emotions. The most important thing I can do right now is fill my emotional bank account. If you do that, I promise you things will change. More money will come in, circumstances will change, opportunities will open up. And again, I know it's a bold statement, but this works for every single person every single time, every single person, every single time. So if you want it to work for you, it can, you just have to, you have to do it. You know, you have to take this on board and you have to do it. And I promise you, if you do, and you do it full heartedly, fully with faith and you do your best um, to actually do it. Don't, don't half ass it. <laughs> this can work for you. Anyway, guys, that's what I'm going to leave you with today. We're going to have many other videos on abundance uh, money, because I know that's a, a topic a lot of people want to know um, a lot about and, and how to bring more of that in. So we'll definitely have other ones, but this is where to start. This is where a lot of the videos, the foundation of them is going to be. Raise that emotional bank account, find the ways to do that. It's very, and it's not hard. Um, and you will raise your physical, um, monetary bank account. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, I love you and I'll see you in the next video.